Hi, Scott Graham here, PGA Teaching Professional at the Address Montgomery, here today with Golf Digest Middle East to talk to you about what's on everyone's wish list, that extra 10 yards off the tee. Earlier this year we saw Tiger record the highest clubhead speed on the PGA Tour at 129 miles an hour. Today we're going to talk about clubhead speed and how we can increase yours in your golf swing. Research has shown that there is a certain way to move the body to create the most efficiency and power in the golf swing. This is known as the kinematic sequence, basically meaning that from the top of the backswing, as you start the downswing, the larger segments of the body, being the hips and the torso, move first before transferring the energy up the chain into the arms, hands, and finally the club. Any breakdown in this chain really affects efficiency and distance. So today we're gonna to talk about a drill that's gonna really help you achieve the right movement and to create the maximum power. A common mistake amongst golfers is when they try to increase club head speed, they try and throw the club harder from the top of the swing. So it looks like this. When they do this, the chain is broken down and the efficiency is lost from the kinematic sequencing. Here's a drill known as the step drill to really help increase club head speed whilst maintaining efficiency in the swing. So we go into a normal driver setup and we bring our left foot to our right foot. From here, we're gonna to swing to the top of the swing and then as we fir our first move is we're gonna move our left foot, drive from our hips, torso, arms, hands and club. So it looks something like this. Just try that one more time. So normal setup, left foot to right foot, swing back, step, finish. In any sport, we need to combine the technical skill with the physical skill. So now we're gonna head into the gym and combine the same kinematic sequencing with one of our workouts. Let's go. The kettlebell swing requires certain movement patterns just like the golf swing in order to lift a heavy weight above your head. If you're just using your arms, you're never gonna lift the kettlebell very high. So you have to drive from the hips into the torso, arms to lift the kettlebell high. So as an example, start with the hips, then the torso, then the arms, and finally the kettlebell. So you've seen me outside doing the golf swing in a rotational movement, and inside using the kettlebell in more of a frontal movement. The reason these two exercises are so similar is because they both require the same transfer of energy through the muscles to create the maximum force. So just like in the golf swing, we're trying to drive from the legs, through the body, hands and club, same as with the kettlebell, from the lower body, through the torso, up into the arms and the belt. So, if you want to achieve more club head speed in your swing, kinematic sequencing is the way forward. We need to move the body in the right order to transfer the energy up through the body and finally into the club to achieve the maximum distance with the ball. Try these exercises next time and see if you can achieve the same club head speed or close to it that we saw with Tiger.